टुडे वी सी द एंडोसाइटोसिस एंडो मीन्स इनसाइड एंड साइटोसिस मीन्स सेल द एंडोसाइटोसिस इज डिफाइंड एज एनी सॉलिड और लिक्विड पार्टिकल्स दैट आर एंटर्स इन टू द सेल ऑफ अ प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन कॉल्ड एज एंडोसाइटोसिस और सिंपली एनीथिंग दैट इज एंटर इन टू द सेल और इन साइड द सेल दैट वी कॉल्ड इट एज अ एंडोसाइटोसिस नॉर्मली द लार्ज पार्टिकल्स आर एंटर इन टू द सेल इन अवर बॉडी ईच न्यूक्लिएटेड सेल कैरी the process of endocytosis so here we see the process of endocytosis the process of endocytosis it contains three processes that is phagocytosis pinocytosis and then receptor mediated endocytosis so let us see phagocytosis what is phagocytosis phagocytosis it is also called as eating of cell or the phagocytosis that engulf the solid particles so the phagocytosis occurs in neutrophil cell monocytes that are present in blood then mo- monophage that are present in tissue then dendritic cell these dendritic cells are present in immune system so this is about the phagocytosis now pinocytosis pinocytosis it is also called as drinking of cell or it the pinocytosis that engulf the liquid particles phagocytosis engulf solid particle and the pinocytosis engulf liquid particle this is the difference between these two process now the third one is receptor mediated endocytosis with the help of receptor with the help of receptor the phagocytosis that are takes place within the plasma membrane now see the process first process that is phagocytosis it is defined as phagocytosis is defined as engulfment of solid particles through the plasma membrane are called as phagocytosis the phagocytosis takes place only in three cells that is neutrophil cell monocytes dendritic cell the phagocytosis it is a process of immune system in which they act as a protecting mechanism so let us see how the phagocytosis occurs suppose for example suppose you injure at that time the skin becomes punctured so that whatever the bacteria present that will enter inside the cell inside the plasma membrane because bacteria are cosmopolitan in nature now bacteria enter into the skin or simply uh, now bacteria are enter then the skin becomes redness because whatever blood vessels that are present at that side they becomes contract as a blood vessel contract it affects on in increasing the concentration of blood in cell and as the concentration increases it means monocyte wbc dendritic cell are, are also increases due to this the neutrophil cells that are present over there they get a signal from bacteria and then these neutrophil cells starts the rolling activity and reach up to the cell wall or endothelial cell wall now endothelial cell possesses small pores from that nutrient get transported 
नाव स्लोली स्लोली न्यूट्रोफिल मूव्ह टॉवर्ड्स दी आउटसाइड आउटसाइड ऑफ द एंडोथेलियल सेल और इट मूव्ह आउटसाइड विथ दी हेल्प ऑफ सुरोपोडिया सो न्यूट्रोफिल कम्प्लिटली दी मूव्ह आउटसाइड अँड देन इट आयडेंटिफाईड बाय बॅक्टेरिया अँड देन when bacteria is not identified then the cell starts phagocytosis process that is engulfment process will start now in eukaryotic cell lysosomes are present you know very well that now this lysosome called as primary lysosome then these primary lysosome combines with neutrophil cell that are called as secondary lysosome when the primary lysosome combines with neutrophil cell it forms the secondary type of lysosome now you know that lysosomes have more than 50 type of hydrolytic enzyme and also acid hydrolase enzyme due to the presence of hydrolytic enzyme lysosome break the bacteria and whatever the waste material is remain over there that are thrown out by the process of exocytosis let us see the phagocytosis process flow chart here flow chart is shown first is if you becomes injured then skin becomes puncture simultaneously we see uh, all this in theoretical part now let us see in flow chart skin becomes puncture simultaneously bacteria get enter then the redness happen in to the skin so that blood vessels get contract due to contract cessation of blood uh, the monocytes dendritic cell wbcs that becomes increases and the neutrophil cell gets become signal from bacteria they shows the rolling movement and attached to the endothelial cell wall slowly the neutrophil comes out the wall with the help of pseudopodia now they starts to identify bacteria and when bacteria is not identified then phagocytosis get starts means the engulfment process get start eukaryotic cell have lysosome primary lysosome this lysosome combines with neutrophil cell and form secondary lysosome after the combi- combina- combination lysosome have hydrolytic enzyme and acid hydrolase enzyme so that with the help of hydrolytic enzyme bacteria get break and waste material that are thrown out by the exocytosis process so let us see the process of phagocytosis here the diagrammatic representation is over here so bacteria cell these are the neutrophil cell now when the bacteria get enter it becomes cup shape shape then with the help of pseudopodia uh, slowly slowly the bacteria get enter engulfment process happens here then the primary lysosome that are present in neutrophil cell it combines with the bacteria and it forms the secondary lysosome and whatever the enzymes are present in lysosome that with the help of this enzyme whatever the waste material is over here that are thrown out to the cell with the process of or with the help of exocytosis process so this is all about the phagocytosis thank you